Okay, is this thing on? Okay, yes. Okay. So, hello there, I'm Mr. McCoy, and we will be learning about polygon, about these shapes here. Spiffy, basic shapes. They're geometric, and, and I have a box to put them on. It's not just any old box, it's a, it's a cube. It's a cube with holes, with, with the right holes in them. So I'll know where they're going. Hey! Wait, who turned out the... Okay, never mind. So... Okay. So, let's start. It goes from least to most. We're gonna start with half round shapes. Half round... Half round means one or two. So let's start with a semicircle. A semicircle only has one side with two corners. So there's no semicircle hole. So let's fit it in the oval hole. The next one is... is Now let's, the next shape should be an oval. This oval has no sides or corners. See, none of them, it's round. So let's put it in here. Now, now let's go with the shapes with many sides. So, So let's see. So let's start with a. Now let's start with a polygon with, with the Lee sides. With three sides, and that would be a triangle. See, a triangle has three sides. A triangle is a polygon with three sides. It's a triangle with three sides. It's, and three corners and three angles. Tri means three. Everyone knows that. Tri means three. So let's put it in the triangle. So let's see where it fits in. It's not fit here or here. Oh, but it does fit right here. Perfect. Now let's go to quadrilaterals. Lilith loves this pause. She likes to make faces and scare the fish. <laughs> Quad means four. Quadra means four. Everyone knows that. So let's start with a square. I'm going to start with a square. A square has four sides that are, a square has four sides that are equal and they're, and they're all the same length. See, the sides are the same and they have four corners as well. Quadrilaterals have four corners. Let's put it in the square hole. right here. I think it will fit right here. And, ooh, what's this one? A rectangle. A rectangle also has four sides, but like a square, but its sides are not the same. Are definitely not the same. Two of them are long. A pair of long sides. The other two are short. Except the rectangle. Except the rectangle is different from the square because the sides are not all the same length. So it does not in fit in the square hole. So 
So I'm going to put in the rectangle hole. Perfect. Now. Let's see. Now. Let's go with a diamond. A diamond. It's an it's a diamond. But, but it it's more actually kind of like a rhombus, also known as a rhombus. What? Oh. Okay, let's see. Except a a rhombus is the same as a square because its sides are the same. But. But the rhombus stands on its corners. Rhombus's corners are pulled tight. So let's put it. We'll see. Will not fit here or here. Oh, but it will fit here. A trapezoid. All right. Here's the next quadrilateral a trapezoid. A trapezoid. A trapezoid is is a is a type of quadrilateral with only with four sides, but the sides aren't the same as the rectangles. But it's the same as the rectangle. The sides aren't the side. The sides aren't the same. Two of them are slanted, and and the other two are straight. So, and it also has four corners as well. So, does not fit here or here, but if I slide it this way, it will fit right here. All right, next is the parallelogram. And so, a parallelogram is the same as the trapezoid. Same as the trapezoid. A parallelogram is the same as... It's the same as a trapezoid. The sides aren't the same. Oh, no. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more BJDF in like 60 seconds. In other words, stick around. Okay, let's see. Now, a parallelogram is the same as the trapezoid because its sides are not equal. These two are slanted, and the other two are straight. So it does not fit in the trapezoid hole. So let's put it in the parallelogram hole. Hmm, that doesn't, right? It doesn't fit like it. it doesn't fit. But if I flip it over, bam, it fits. So, all right, the next shape is a is a quadrifoil. I'm gonna do a quadrifoil. A quadrifoil has the word quad in it. I know that quad means four, but it's not but its sides are not straight or slanted. They're round. Quadrifoils have four round curves. should be right here. Okay. Now let's go to the shape with... Go to the shape with more sides. 
Also, first, let's start with a pentagon. The word penta means five. Eve. The word penta means five because a pentagon has five sides. See, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five sides in one, two, three, four, five corners. Let's see. Let's see, does it, okay, let's see. Let's see, does it fit here? No. Nope. Does it fit here? No. Nope. But does it fit here? Yes. Okay, next is the hexagon. The next shape after pentagon is a hexagon. Hex means six. So hex means six. It's a hexagon. A six sides, see? Because a hexagon has six sides. See? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. In one, two, three, four, five, six corners. See? A hexagon. Hmm. Does not fit here or here. Oh. But that, but it does fit right here. Perfect. Now, now the next shape, next one, we don't have a heptagon, so let's go with octagon, with an octagon. See, octa means eight, like an octopus has eight legs. Eight arms, okay, an octagon has eight sides. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corners. Like a stop sign. So, let's put it right here. All right, here's our last shape. A star. Now, now a star may look different, like, from a pentagon. From a... A star has a uh, five points, like the ones you see in the sky, but they, or in the ocean, but, but it's more different from a decagon because a star, a five-pointed star has ten sides. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sides. Fit right here. All right, that's all the shapes. I hope hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications.